The faithful have long been concerned Pope Francis is pushing a globalist agenda. They point to encyclicals, offhand comments, his associates, and what he doesn't do or say. Well, Pope Francis' most recent visit with religious leaders in Rome further fuels those concerns. As church militants Hunter Bradford underscores in tonight's in-depth report, the successor of St. Peter continues nodding to left-wing talking points. Religious leaders gathered in the Eternal City last week to dialogue towards a so-called global impact on education, which seems to be anything but Catholic. Pope Francis opened the meeting with these words. Education, therefore, obliges us to accept the other for who he or she is, without judging or judging anyone. It obliges us to love our Mother Earth and to avoid the waste of food and resources. Now compare those weaponized words to Pope Pius XI's Divini Ilius Magistri. Since education consists essentially in preparing man for what he must be and for what he must do here below, it is clear that there cannot be true education which is not wholly directed to man's last end. Because God has revealed himself to us in the person of his only begotten Son, who alone is the way, the truth, and the life, there can be no ideally perfect education which is not Christian education. It seems unlikely the gathering will promote Christian education considering the attendance included Islamic, Jewish, and Sikh religious leaders. Back in 2019, Pope Francis kick-started the initiative with this troubling remark. Serve un patto educativo globale che ci educhi alla solidarietà universale a un nuovo umanesimo. Universal solidarity in humanism, he says. Cardinal Raymond Leo Burke finds statements like these questionable. What we truly need is a religious conversion, in other words, a strong teaching and practice of faith in God, and obedience to the order with which he has created us. Italian educationist and author Elisabetta Sala had this to say about the Holy Father's message launching the initiative. There was no room for God and His Son, no biblical quotations, but rather the usual self-reference quotations we've become sadly accustomed to. Catholic Lisa Yor, former prosecutor and investigative journalist, is disturbed by the Global Compact for Education's partner. We've got to watch the Vatican. It's called the Global Compact for Education. And one of their side partners, One People, One Planet, if that doesn't sound like globalism to you, um, is sponsored by none other than Huawei. Huawei is a Chinese telecommunications provider blacklisted by the United States due to national security concerns. Critics often blast Pope Francis' pontificate for going soft on communist China, despite the regime's persecution of Christians and other human rights abuses. Hunter Bradford, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. The Global Compact on Education's website reveals Many universities and schools have already implemented the group's desired changes.